Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Ranch. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. This is a one-take session about Facebook, or what you guys call meta platforms. Somewhere in a, in a room, they all got together and they said, you know what, this is going to be a great idea. We're going to call this company Meta, and it's going to be the next thing because the metaverse is here. Well, letting you know that the metaverse is here is one thing. Number two is, it's not ready yet, and nor are you. That platform of 2.0 advertising, where you guys actually rely on analytics. Remember, Facebook sells no product. All they sell is advertising. That's how they make their money. Whether you want to invest in them or not, you have to understand click-through click through ratios. You have to understand widgets, impressions, all of the above. And for you to make a profit on that, you have to have equal footing. And when you're losing ground against other search engines, against other websites, and now the metaverse themselves, if you're not ready to go with that engine, it's going to be very apparent. There are some companies that are gearing towards it. We know who they are. Those companies that are getting ready for the unfathomable, the 3D interaction with the internet is right upon you. So that's why I'm invested with GameStop, but I'm happy when I see other companies just tank it to the ground. Oh guys, these guys lost about $80 a share in a matter of two minutes, three minutes. It's phenomenal. I'll show you the chart in a minute. But What's crazy is, how don't you have this information to know that you can't make a bet the day of earnings, right? I'm going to go over here for you. So the not so Mr. Wonderful, okay, Kevin O'Leary, Kevin Leary here, I believe that's named Kevin O'Leary, Kevin O'Leary went ahead and bought more meta platforms today. Today before the damn letdown. This guy lost every dollar, every dollar. Stephanie Link is no different. They've been buying Facebook for, since December. And it's been on a sharp decline, and now it's a real decline. So there's no recovering from it, and I don't wish it upon anyone. Guys, I've been invested with one company the whole year. For over a whole fiscal year now, I have been in GameStop. And I encourage everyone else to see these drops. These are the drops I want to see, because these are the moments, these are the times that we get to pounce on our competition. We need to say nothing. When our earnings come out and we hit it out of the ballpark, which I feel we will, and guys, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong about sales and I'm wrong about projections, sue me now. I'm still not selling, but I'm telling you, it's going to be really hard for me to be wrong on this one. I'm shooting for $2 billion, right? Two point, I'm not going to shy away from it. $2.25 billion in earnings first week of March. It's coming. I'm getting my shares now, so I'm ready for that run-up. At $100, $100 flat, $0.04, I'll let you keep it. I don't care. At $97 right now in the after hours, you're telling me that I should keep buying something else? There's no way. Even with Facebook dropping down to two forty eight like it did right now, it's a good buy in my eyes. That's a great buy in my eyes. But will I touch it? Never. I have GameStop, and I feel good about it. And you should too, guys. But for all the smart guys out there, all the boomers, Kevin O'Leary, you're missing out right now, buddy. You just lost, I don't know, 25% of whatever you bought this morning. GameStop. That's all you'll ever need. That's all I'll ever have to hear for you guys. I'm only GameStop. I'm never going to change off of that. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'm going to see you tomorrow, millionaires. Thank <laughs> you.